Hello everybody, my name is Rabbit, and welcome to my playthrough of The Little Mermaid for the Nintendo Entertainment System. So just as a little brief opener, I do want to just tell you guys that this is absolutely not going to be a speed run, nor is it going to be a 100% completion run. I tend to play a lot of games kind of on my own whenever I have some downtime, and I realized when I was talking to someone that I probably should on occasion go ahead and record those experiences for you, just because I I tend to predominantly feature RPGs or other really long story based games on my channel so the playthroughs can take anywhere from 20 to 40 or more hours for me to record and obviously that's a pretty big time commitment for me as well as for you to even watch so I thought it would be a good idea to buffer all of that with something a little bit more brief and a little bit more fun and not necessarily as try hard as some of the games that I do tend to play. So. Yeah, if you are the type of person who is very, very interested in a speedrun, please don't hold me to that expectation because I am absolutely going to be a noob at this. It has been a long time since I played this game, which is why today I decided, you know what, let me go ahead and pop this in and just take myself through the journey once again. So, yeah, unless you are just looking for a good time, then I would probably suggest you go ahead and find someone else who has played this to watch, simply because I don't want to be held to the expectation of performing very well at this. I just want to have a good time, I want to have fun, and I kind of want to just play this for nostalgia purposes. So if you're okay with that and you like what <laughs> you've seen of me in the past in terms of my blind-ish playthroughs, then welcome aboard. Let's go ahead and get started here in just a second. But, like I said, if you're looking for someone to do a try-hard undertaking, please, please just go watch somebody else because I am not going to probably perform that well. So I think that's pretty much it in terms of an intro. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with Capcom's The Little Mermaid for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Looks like we have a little brief opening here. So Ariel, Princess of the Sea, fell in love with Eric at first sight. She asked Ursula to... What did she ask Ursula to do? She asked her to make her human so she could meet him. He fell in love with her too and planned to marry her. Then one day, Sebastian, Flounder, and Scuttle came to see Ariel in a big hurry. They explained that Ursula had cast a spell over the fish of the sea so they would have to do what she wanted. If she wasn't stopped, she would probably take over the whole sea. Ariel decided to go to Ursula's castle to try and release the fish from Ursula's spell. She explained to Eric that she was a mermaid and a princess of the sea. Oh, that's interesting. So this isn't canon to the actual movie. Uh, like I said, guys, I've had this game and I played it when I was younger, but it's been a long ass time, so I really don't remember anything about it, so you might as well consider this blind for me. Um, so anyway, uh, she's a mermaid and a princess of the sea, and that she must try to save her friends. Is that, is that it? Oh, okay. Eric tried to convince her not to go, but she turned back into a mermaid, dove into the sea, and began to swim towards Ursula's castle. Alright, well we're gonna take her down, so stage one, Sea of Coral. And what I'm probably going to do is, oh my god, I need to figure out the controls. Uh, but what I will probably do is keep each stage to an episode. So these videos should be pretty short, anywhere from I guess three to eight minutes. Oh, oh, I can pause. And it looks like, let's see here. Power up, range, and I can't do anything on this menu. But that's so cool that we have power ups. I didn't really remember that. All right, so we've got B and A. I can swim slow or fast, and that's how I whip things. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and, I guess, fuck shit up. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is gonna, this is gonna be an interesting, interesting journey. So honestly, as I had just mentioned, I have not played this in so long that I hardly remember anything. One of the things that I do remember is I know there's a bunch of shit that's hidden in a lot of oh shit I guess those fish don't stay in there for that long okay well I'll find what I can but again don't hold me to anything go away fishy I'm, I'm not trying to deal with you oh we just found something didn't you guys see that I'm pretty sure we just found a fork or a trident or wow wow 
Wow. What a fucking start. Well, that's okay. Whatever. We have two more hearts left, so as long as I don't fuck this up too hard... Oh, God. Do I really want to mess with any of these things? I don't think so. I really don't. I, uh, I just want to get my shit. And I bet there's something hidden in this. But how do I... Oh, no! Oh, that's what I get for fucking with these stupid... Oh, no, you guys. I'm kind of scared. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I want that fish. I, I don't know if I can get him, though, without dying. This is maybe a little too too much for me. Okay, so whatever's in that, I'm almost positive there's something hidden in there. Oh, there's a fishy- <gasps> No! Fishy, no! <gasps> wow. I fail. Well, we are not off to the best start, so I'm just gonna not even mess around with some of those dubious locations. Let's just fucking go. Let's get our shit. Okay, so we got our fork again. I can't believe I died. What the fuck, you guys? That sucks. So I'm not even fucking with this octopus. Or maybe I should kill him first? Go away. No, 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 no. Wow. Oh my god. Okay. Go away, both of you. Well, if I was good, I guess that's what I would have done in the first place. And I want that stupid fish. Come here. And then let's see if I can... Oh, oh, there's another fork! Ah! Perfect. I wonder if there's something... Oh, nope, not even messing with it. I only have two hearts and... Yeah, one life left. This is awful. <laughs> this is just terrible, you guys. I should not be off to this bad of a start, but that is okay. So yeah, as I had mentioned, Capcom was actually responsible for this. And they did a couple other NES titles... Uh, like Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, which my brother and I loved so much. We played that game all the fucking time. I have so many fond memories of playing that with him. It's kind of interesting to... Oh, yes! Two for one, baby. It's kind of interesting to look back, though, on some of those games. <gasps> oh, God! Okay, I'm a little too scared to mess with this. No! No, 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 no! Oh, shit. I really fucked that one up. I need to probably not talk while I'm doing this. Oh, God. Shit. I'm, like, psyching myself out, you guys, and I just need to take it easy. Wait, isn't that three hits? Usually three is what kills monsters. Maybe it's four or six or something? Oh, okay. Four. Four is the magic number. But this really blows. I can't believe I died so early. Ugh. But, hey, we got two forks, but we missed a pipe. Which I bet was over in that little corner that I wanted to check out, but I didn't because I was scared of that stupid fish. But okay, guys, that is it for our first episode. Like I said, I'm going to try to keep each stage to a video. So when we come back together, we will see this little cutscene, if you want to call it that. And then we will continue onward to stage two. So thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you in just a second.